guys, welcome back to Ryan and Zara channel. It's been a very, very, very long time. Uh, I didn't make a video since ages. So today I'm back with a fabulous and a very, very outstanding video. This video is all about black tit. So this video will be very helpful for year 7 students because there's topic in year 7 it's related to the medieval times in England and the black tit. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. So first, we gotta think, what is the black tit? I know every one of you must know that it's a disease, a plague. So, this black tit, it's a very, very deadly disease. Very rare if somebody gets it. It's not common. But in the medieval time, it was most common disease that did. First of all, I'm going to tell you where so this disease came all the way from China in Asia to Britain. This disease was is meant to be the deadliest disease in Britain, according to me. This disease came from rats that had plague. The reason for the rats to uh, make people infected was fleas. These fleas, the fleas are like beetle structured insects that go on animal from animal, other animal, other animal, and sometimes they even jump on people and then suck their blood. So these, these fleas went on rats, sucked their blood, and then went to a human body and sucked their blood. So all that particles and virus went to the human body and this human that had, uh, that, ha that fleet had bitten had got all the plate, had got pneumonic plague and septimentic plague. So if you have bubonic plague, bubons, apple-like structures will appear on your skin that have bluish color. They have different kind of juices in them and when they pop, it's the time for you to die. So, uh, I've told you, in bubonic plague, you have 50-50. You can 50 chance, you can die, 50 chance, you can survive. And in the pneumonic plague, you have 90 chance of dying. A pneumonic plague focuses on your lung. It just, your lung gets infected and then you can't like breathe properly and then you die. But the septimentic plague is the deadliest plague. In the chances of surviving, this plague focuses on your blood. All that germs and everything that plague has goes into your blood. So, this plague was so, so, so deadly that it killed almost more than half population of Britain. Uh, that time, the people in Britain were not like like there were no doctors like highly educated doctors that we have nowadays people thought that this plague came from uh, this plague came from bad air a bad air and uh, a, a official word for this bad air is miasma they called it miasma that means bad air so what the doctors did they took all the petals from the flowers and just wrapped around wrapped it around your nose so that you just breathe good air and what they did they they thought that it's due to due to you having more yellow bile more black bile so what they did they used to cut one of your nerve and take out all the extra things that your body has that made the conditions more worse than making it better because now you are weaker these scientists oh these doctors didn't know like how to do that so they were like taking their own opinions to try and make it better but they were making it more worse and some people thought that this is due to their sins or some people thought that this black tit this plague used to come when you wear pointy shoes and then what people used to do on their own was when you have bubons for example i have bubons on this place so then they should they, they like get a chicken they get a live chicken and put them on your bubons and then these people think that the bubons will go onto the chicken and you will be like uninfected you'll be okay and the chicken will be infected uh, is like infected okay then other method that they had was washing themselves with urine they used to wash themselves with urine that's literally disgusting and that made the condition more and more and more worse 
So this black death overall was a disaster in Britain. It came three. Uh, it it came in Britain in 1348, all the way from China. And I've already told you that, and now I'm gonna tell you. So overall, the people that have survived this plague now had an opportunity of the best life. The poor people, I'm talking about the poor people that had survived, not for the rich people that had survived. Because that time there was like no people left. It was like there was land all over UK. There was less population and there was more land. More than half of the population was wiped out due to this disastrous plague. So what happened is, uh, before the plague, people used to get low wages and they need to work harder to get the wages. But now, after the plague, there were less people. That means there were uh, they, uh, people can't, the, the rich people that used to hire the people for the farming work, for any sort of work. They couldn't hire it because they were too less. So what they used to do is, for example, I'm working for somebody after the plague. So I used I I go, uh, I go to them. I tell them that I want I wanna leave. I get such less wages and I work harder. So they can't let me leave because there are no more people. So they gave me like more wage. They made me work less harder. That means I got more wage by working less harder. Um, therefore. When there was pl no plague, there was plague. Before the plague, they used to make you work harder and used to give you give like less wage. But now they you, they give you more wage and make you work uh, less harder. And same with the rents of the houses. The rents of the houses used to go down because all the rich people and the people that have power knew that there are no more people left there are only less people left uh, if, and if we increase the price of the rent they will go to some other city that has low rent so they, they used to reduce the rent that means it's a great opportunity for the poor and a disadvantage from the, for the rich people because they are in a loss they're in a loss of investment so same for the cost of the food for example, I tell you, before the plague, the price of a bread was 50 pence and after the plague, the price of the bread is 20 pence. There's a difference of like 30 pence between them. That's what happened. That's what happened. The cost of the food reduced because there were less people and if they didn't buy the food, the investors would get nothing. So they just reduced the price to get all their stocks that they have out. So this is how some people got opportunities and some people got disadvantages. Overall, according to me, this plague was a great, great, great disaster uh, on Britain. I'll tell you one thing more. You know, this, this, this plague used to travel from one place to other by trading, by trading routes. For example, you're going on a ship to you. Uh, to South America and you have all the people infected or all the rats and you, when you go there the rats come with you and when you reach there for trading the rats go out and infect other people this is how the, uh, the spreading of the plague and then these plague were very very deadly they used to like kill people in seven days minimum seven days sometimes they used to take eight days but uh, according to me, the doctors were like making the life better before dying. They were not making the conditions better, but they were making the quality of the life better for some minutes before dying. Because they were just throwing petals and that was not the reason for the plague. But now, after the plague, doctors, doctors had like more knowledge no knowledge about the plague and now they could treat a bit people who were sick they could treat the people who were sick overall this was a very deadly disease in Britain and I hope this doesn't come back like COVID-19
So this is all for one more thing guys, if you want to know more about black death or more about any disease or more about any topic you want, just let me know in the topics and if you have any questions related to topic, just let me know and my next video will be about the thing you have commented me. Bye, see you later.